Hi, I'm Joe Finsternis, and tonight I'm going to be talking to you about a movie called Save the Green Planet. So, th first of all, this is a Korean movie with subtitles, and the DVD does not come with an English dub, so sorry if you hate subtitles, you're probably not going to be too into this movie. Anyway, um, going into this film, I had heard a couple of reviewers sort of hype it up as saying that Save the Green Planet is a movie that falls into multiple genres. Even when I saw the trailer years ago, you know, there was this on-screen text that said, this is not horror, this is not science fiction, this is not comedy. And I was just thinking, well, this looks pretty interesting. So I finally got to sit down and watch it. And essentially it follows this guy named Byung-Gu who may or may not be out of his mind as he kidnaps this CEO of a chemical company who may or may not be an alien and he you know does everything that he can to prove that this guy is an alien. Byung-Gu also has a girlfriend named Suni who's completely out of her mind of course. She pretty much has to be to follow this guy in his endeavors. So when I was talking about Grabbers a while back, I mentioned that I had three more Alien movies to review this month, and this was one of the ones that I had in mind when I said that. So, um, as for the fact, uh, of whether this is, you know, having to deal with aliens or not, I'm not gonna give that away because you're going to have to see the film for yourself to find out. So, um, you know, regarding the fact that I had heard that this movie, you know, falls into so many different genres and it's so original and different. Uh, what it comes down to is basically Save the Green Planet is torture porn. Now, this did come out way back in 2003 before that was even a phrase. It was before Saw and it was before Hostel. So the uh, concept was a little unique back then. Plus, you know, the fact that it um, sort of has this science fiction angle going for it was a little different. Um, and there have been a couple other torture movies I've seen which have gone for more comedic, comedic, uh, which have gone for more comedic tone. Um, like, for example, last year I watched this movie called Inbred. It was a British horror comedy which tried to make torture porn funny, but it just went straight for gross-out humor, and it was kind of just unpleasant and meh to watch. It really didn't hit my funny bone at all, but to my complete amazement, I never thought that these words would be coming out of my mouth, but this movie made torture funny. It was just in the way that it was, I know, I know how sick that sounds, but it was really just in the way that it was executed here. Plus, one of the main factors is that Man Shik, the guy who's being tortured, who may or may not be an alien, as soon as you first meet him and he starts talking, the dude comes off as just a complete dick in the movie, and you really don't feel much sympathy for him at all. Plus, um, you do get a little bit of empathy for byung -gu as the movie goes into his uh, past. His backstory in the film is pretty sad. Um, there was even like one sort of fake out torture scene that reminded me just a little bit of the ice cream scene from The Punisher. Also, there is a moment where it straight up goes into the full horror genre. Um, there's a detective who's introduced into the movie and at one point uh, he's being threatened by one of the characters and during that scene I felt genuinely scared for the guy. So it's definitely this mixed bag of different emotions and it all works well together. Um, and the movie runs for a pretty long time at almost two hours. You know, one thing that I actually forgot to mention about Recycle recently was that movie ran for a pretty long time and I could definitely feel it dragging in parts. Uh, Save the Green Planet was even longer than that and I never felt it drag. I was invested all the way through, especially during the last 30 minutes of the film. The shit just flew by like that. 
So, um, yeah, it is a little bit like The Perfect Host, where you get this very dark comedy, um, and it may not be for everyone. It definitely comes highly recommended if you have a morbid sense of humor. Anyway, that's all I've got to say about Save the Green Planet. I hope you all have a good one.